Hey guys, it's Drek, and welcome to another episode of Nerf News, your number one source for Nerf News on the net. I'm bringing you some live stuff that's coming through the net and through Toy Fair. If you hear anything in the background, that's the sound of New York, and there's nothing I can do about that. This city actually never sleeps, it turns out. So, what are we talking about? This is the Nerf Alien Menace Ravager. Now, it's going to be a pump-action, spring-powered blaster. Comes with eight darts. Looks like it holds that many. Kind of wild. I don't know exactly how it's going to fire. It's going to be a Toys R Us exclusive, retailing at about 30 United States dollars. We've got a pretty comfortable-looking trigger well, but the real talk of the town here is that there's an entirely new line now. Some people thought that Hasbro had bitten off more than it could chew between Doomland, Zombie, uh, Strike. We've got the Rebel series, the End Strike series, Mega series. We've got um, all sorts of stuff going on. Charmed is a line in and of itself. It's a subline of Rebel. So there's a lot going on in addition to the Super Soaker branded tie-ins and the Star Wars brand. Why did Nerf need another line? Well, I have no idea. My personal theory is that Toys R Us barked and said that they wanted an exclusive and Hasbro caved. And this is what we get. But they originally pitched this as some sort of biomechanical, almost H.R. Geiger-esque sort of art style. And I'm not seeing that at all in these mock-up images. The Ravage looks very straightforward, almost linear, kind of uh, razor-edged, very sharp lines, very little like biomechanical organic looking stuff to it, very much a sci-fi blaster, almost rebel looking with this white and purple color scheme. All that's missing is the pink, guys, but firing elite darts, it looks like from the way that this cross-section is shaped, that there's two here, two here, two here, and two on the other side, so eight in a revolver-style platform. I would imagine that we're delivering air through this area, either here or probably more likely here into a smart AR system which fires starting with the inner ring and continues onto the outer ring. Now I haven't actually gotten my hands on this blaster at Toy Fair quite yet because this is being recorded Friday night and I go to Toy Fair tomorrow in the morning but I wanted you guys to have the news as soon as you could because I feel like you deserve it. So that's what this is. This is the Nerf Alien Menace Ravager, and it's exciting that they're making more Springer Blasters with unique shells and unique performance. I just wish it was more functional. To me, an eight-shot revolver that this 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 bulky and this kind of weird is not worth like this amount of money, nor is it practical for any real game type. Now, as far as like from a fun perspective, this is sweet. A whole new line devoted to blasting zombie or er, aliens. I keep saying zombies. That's Hasbro's fault, not mine. They've hardwired me with all these zombie Doomlands blasters at this point, but. I think that the concept from a fun perspective is sweet. I think that parents should be excited about this. I think that kids are going to love the flavor tie-ins of this blaster. And overall, I think that it's a really cool design, even if it isn't that sweet biomechanical Geiger mech sort of line that I was really hoping for. The foregrip looks reasonably comfortable. The handle looks plenty large for both adult and children users. And, I mean... Eight darts in a smart AR revolver system, not that bad, allows for continuous reloading. I just think that there are better things on the market at this price point that do similar stuff. So that's the Nerf news. I've got a lot more of these videos to crank out tonight, so this is just on the Ravager. But as always, especially more important than ever, since I am going to Toy Fair in the morning for the next three days, let me know what you're interested in. If it's this blaster, tell me what you're curious about. If it's some other blaster, tell me about that in the comment section below, because I want to deliver the absolute best content on Toy Fair that I can to you guys both on this channel and on my vlog channel. Check out the description box. Thank you very much for watching. You guys have an awesome Saturday.